Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get this a tad bit lower. The eccentricity set for this, this mission needs to be less than 0.9. And there we go. All righty. Mission success. Then also, so I don't forget, I want to extend the solar panels. So with the solar panels, I can't do anything if it runs out of power. Now, so this mission is completed. Ah, but... As my current orbit stands, my minimum periapse is not above the surface of Duna. So I'm just going to have to wait for this to go through. So maybe there might be a chance of me getting this orbit, this mission. No, I don't think so. If I go ahead and open the browser window... Actually, select mission package. Select the one for Ike. And it needs to be under 40, so yeah, no. So I want to be doing this one instead. I want to just go ahead and wait for this to... Man, I keep encountering Ike like crazy. Out of contact? Oh, there's a giant moon in the way. Alrighty, but as it stands, I finished this mission goal. And I'm going to go ahead and finish that. And maybe, maybe I can set up some sort of flyby past Ike. Let's just go ahead and try that. Come on. Can I not? There's a reason why I can't. That's weird. It's not letting me do a maneuver here, because it still thinks I have one to do. I do have control, though. So I'm going to go ahead and actually go back to the tracking center and then go ahead and open this back up so I can set up another, man another man maneuver and I'll be back when I'm done with that. Alrighty, I'm back here after messing around with this for a tad bit. I came up with some or <laughs> orbital mechanical weirdness, but I believe this will work. Um... I just need to be able to fly by it, but what I'm thinking about doing is actually getting into orbit around Ike first so I can go ahead and make that mission goal and maybe even possibly land on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed up here. And I'll be adjusting my trajectory. Alrighty. As it is, I would actually fly by Ike and then uh, hit Duna, but I don't plan on doing that. I want to be able to fly by it, though. So let's go ahead and choose our next mission here. This is going to be an Ike mission. Select Ike. Fly by. Need to be under 40,000. Which, that's what we want. Gonna go ahead and select that mission. And then go ahead and do that. Alrighty. Flying by again. Keeping contact here. And I believe I'm gonna have contact throughout the entire thing. Perfect. It's gonna be line of sight the entire time. And I'll go ahead and plan. capture burn here. I have 122. Now this is kind of an expensive burn here, but that's okay. That's definitely fine. Um, 
you know, I have plenty to spare. As it is, I want to make sure this, this satellite actually, uh, you know, it doesn't crash or anything like that, because I'm going to be sending other satellites here in the future for that purpose. But yeah, let's go ahead and speed up again here. Alrighty. Coming in. Speeding up again. And. Alrighty. We are finishing this mission. And then we're going to go ahead and. Open the browser window. We're going to do a probe orbit. Select this one. Burn retrograde to capture into orbit. is complete. That is perfect. Finished that mission, and now our current budget is over 722,000 crones, which is pretty impressive, considering we got all a lot of that money um, with just pr uh, probes here. So what I'm probably going to want to do next is actually get this probe back out of the Ike orbit and just actually have it in a high orbit around around Duna because uh, if we go back to this um, I think I'm gonna save landings and returns for like a multi probe mission later and if we go to select mission package and go back to Duna here I'm not going to land anything. I'm not going to impact. But I do want a commsat. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and finish this mission with. I'm going to go ahead and put this probe into a reliable orbit with with Duna. Kind of in a higher orbit so it doesn't cross Ike or anything like that. And then I'll leave it at that. So let's go ahead and plan for that now. That's a little bit too high. Yeah, that's that's I'd say it's pretty decent. And then I'll go ahead and circularize that after. So okay. Go ahead and speed time forward again. Out of contact because the moon's in the way. And I'll go ahead and burn prograde here to exit the Ike system. I'd say that's good enough. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and circularize after that. Actually. That's actually fairly high, and I just realized that the relay satellites, the antenna, do not go that far. So actually, I want to have it in a lower orbit. It's okay. It's fine. It's definitely okay. So I want to go ahead and bring this down. I know I'm kind of wasting fuel at this point, but, you know, this probe's mission is is almost at an end here. It's done pretty much everything I wanted it to. So I'll go ahead and bring this down. So not... Uh, 
I didn't finish this mission, so... Why is it not letting me... Why is it not letting me control? Oh. Because <laughs> I still had warp on. Duh. Alrighty. Okay, I want to bring this down to maybe about here. 1.6? Maybe... Maybe about... 1.5. I don't want any chance of it entering into Ike's sphere of influence ever, so that's what I'm worried about. I'm going to bring it down to 1,000. That should be good. And also to increase the or decrease the likelihood that it's going to be blocked by Ike, I'm going to give it a little inclination here. Just fine. Perfectly fine. I'd say that looks about good. Inclination changes are definitely cheaper when they are done higher in an orbit. Okay, that's kind of doing something funny to my orbit here. That's fine. Leave it at that, but I want to go ahead and bring this orbit, the periaps, down to a thousand kilometers again. That's good. So the last thing we're going to do to speed up time again. Circular eyes, and that'll be that. Perfect. I'd say that this mission was successful. We entered into, we, well, we, we flew past Duna. We got into an orbit. Uh, even though I didn't do a, a perfect era break, we flew past Ike. We got into orbit around Ike. Uh, and then we exit Ike, and now we are in a stable orbit around Duna. For transmission purposes, we are going to have a complete and solid link between Duna and Kerbin. And while I'm at this, I'm going to go ahead and set this target to Duna, or not Duna, oof, Kerbin. So that means it's always going to have a link, no matter what. And great. So I don't think I'm going to want to change this orbit around at all, so I'm going to go ahead and finish its last mission here. Which is the ComSat mission. When I do this, that means I won't be able to control it anymore. But that's fine. Perfect. It's going to be able to relay signals from Kerbin to Duna uh, for its entire lifetime now. So anyway, that leaves us with a current budget of 748,994 crones leaving a lot of uh, funding for the future. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this episode here. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching, and uh, once again, this was Shimmy, and I'll see you on the next episode.